Hello, everyone. This is your host, Susan Rosen. And my guest today is, and I'm probably going to screw this up, is, <laughs> is Kim Askey Strasser. Yep. All right. All right. And um, she is here to tell us about Meta Brain Labs. And so I will, without me trying to, you know, explain it and wreck it totally. <laughs> I'm going to welcome Kim and ask her to, to tell us a little bit more about what she's doing and, and what the Brain Labs are. Yeah. Thank you, Susan, for having me. So um, you're right. My name's Kim Askey Strasser. Um, I'm a certified life and weight loss coach. I'm also a nurse and um, I've been doing life coaching now for formally for probably three years and as a nurse executive leader for many years prior to that before I probably knew what I was doing. Um, and I, I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And I found Meta Brain Labs uh, almost a year ago and just found a big, a really interesting connection. Sometimes you just know when you know you find someone and we're doing the same thing in different ways. And so um, if you think of me as a life coach, working with people one on one, trying to understand mm -hmm. the premise of life coaching is really understanding yourself and your thoughts and gaining a new way of living through awareness so that you can first accept some things just as we are and then intentionally change them you know decide that i want to be different be better whatever your word is for that but the the growth and evolution process that is sort of the human experience coaching is um is what i like to call sort of a springboard or an accelerator to that it yeah, gives us yeah i'm i i also do coaching so oh you do yeah so you're, yeah people yeah. know um yeah so doing that, then, you know, it, sometimes it takes time. And what MetaBrain Labs has done is they, they've they created technology to support this. So we've kind of combined our two expertise together. Uh -huh. so MetaBrain Labs is built on the premise of coaching, um, but it is a wearable brain computer interface technology. And what that means is it is this little wearable headband and I don't know if people will see but I'll show you Susan it's this little wearable uh -huh. headband, and it's a it's a receiver only so it just is monitoring okay. brain waves and then it connects to an app so the computer um, and what it does is if in a coaching session we uncover what we think is a blocking issue whether you're trying to improve your health your relationship mm -hmm. your career whatever it is you come up mm -hmm. with a limiting belief um, then we take it to the technology and essentially verify it. So I would write down a question into the computer and we've, we've written several, we call them programs that would ask you a question like, why do you believe that it is unsafe to speak in public for someone, for example, who might be afraid of public speaking? And they uh -huh. would start to answer that question. And the technology is much like a reverse lie detector. So it will confirm when it gets to a deep unconscious belief when it gets uh, really true for you it will validate that and so what ends up happening is we have these aha moments by using the brain computer interface where we can accelerate even that evolution mm -hmm. much further because we can uncover wow i didn't realize that this is what i thought about myself or about yeah. this issue and then um the way that we do the work then as we acknowledge that, and then we rewrite it. So what would you like to think instead? And a lot of times that is the opposite, but as you know, in coaching, sometimes it's a little bit massage. So that also gets validated through the brain computer interface to say, yeah, mm -hmm. that is true for you for now. Right. And so I like to think mm -hmm. of coaching and you probably do the same where it's like you, we sort of climb a, a set of stairs when we want mm -hmm. to. So what we believe now might not be our end goal, but it's the it's the closest thing we can believe now. And that's what the uh -huh. that's what the brain computer interface really helps with is to validate, yeah, you do believe this. Uh, and if okay. you've ever worked on positive affirmations with somebody, sometimes we reach oh, too yeah. far, right. And it's like it's just not working. And it so this yeah. helps to keep us where we are. And then we can actually build from there. And the program then itself, um, once we confirm both of these 
phrases essentially takes you to a recording session section and you record your own voice saying i no longer feel whatever the unconscious belief pattern is okay. and then i feel whatever your intentional feeling is and you listen to them twice a day for two weeks and that's been the um the time frame that has been studied and validated to be mm -hmm. what makes the biggest difference so doing that twice a day for two weeks does actually create a new neural pathway mm -hmm. and people uh -huh can report not necessarily the idea of being overly happy and positive all the time, but those negative sort of lingering and little um, beliefs that come up that hold us mm -hmm. back are mm -hmm. quiet. Mm -hmm. They don't hear them as often. So it doesn't oh, pop up as much. Okay. So right. um, we're able to progress okay. forward more quickly. So that's sort of the Cliff's Notes version of how the technology <laughs> works. Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting. And so do people, when you work through one limiting belief, mm -hmm. then do you then move on to another one and kind of, yeah. kind of break break all this down so that eventually you've cleared a lot of yep. these so things? We, um, the intention okay. behind it is it's tech, technology that you purchase. So once you mm -hmm. partner with us, you get the mm -hmm. EEG headset, you get that um, to keep. So it's a one-time purchase. Oh. And the idea is that this is a lifestyle approach. So it's something mm -hmm. you would use forever. So what we teach in our coaching programs is the process for one. And two, we can give people sort of a roadmap of these are some beliefs you want to work on for the next six weeks, 12 weeks, right. whatever. And so you could sort of map those out. I always recommend doing one at a time. So if you think about yeah. the idea of climbing a set of stairs, you could focus on one problem, your relationship, uh -huh. your work, something, and have a, right. you know, a 20 stair plan uh -huh. to follow to start to change your whole perception around it yeah. purely to feel better, to feel how you want to feel in those moments, which mm -hmm. our feelings, as you know, is then what drives our behavior. So when we can get through what's stressing us out, what's making us feel frustrated, what's making us feel angry or unsure, then- right start to sort of do more of what we want to do. So it is something that we want our clients to learn how to use and then, and ideally DIY it on their own as much as they want uh -huh. to. Our program um, is all about kind of creating specific areas of interest and taking groups of people through that together. So we just wow. did one on um, sort of self-care and self-awareness, which is like a baseline mm -hmm. of how to use it, but really Mm -hmm. figuring out how to take care of yourself, even when, and especially when you feel like you're supposed to be taking care of other people or other things, right. As we all do. I like to say, yeah. especially us women, but I think by and large, a uh, lot I agree. we put, we put other people's first, everything first. Oh yeah. First. Oh yeah. No, I'm, 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 Hey, I'm first in line and telling people that does not work. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. And so, no. We can tell people all day long that it doesn't work. This this technology right. and this process is all about helping the individual to learn how to believe that truly yes. for themselves because that's what makes the biggest yeah. difference. Um, yeah. And our next big step, my next big step is to mm -hmm. pair this with weight loss. Like I told you, I'm a life and weight loss. Uh -huh. I have been. Right. Um, yeah. So I've partnered with a bariatric surgeon and a um, internal medicine physician who's prescribing, you know, all the latest weight loss wow. medication. And we yeah. are taking the education that I provide, which is science-based, nutrition-based, all that stuff about mm -hmm. weight loss with their intervention. And then this coaching to help, help those clients achieve much more lasting success mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. confidence in their yeah. change. So that's kind of our, our next, if you think about cohorts being groups of people who want the same thing, right. that's the next um, pilot study that we're working on. So we're pretty excited well, about looking for participants yeah. in school. Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. And and that's such a huge area. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's, it's not good. It hasn't been getting any much smaller, even though there's all these different weight loss things out there, right? Mm -hmm. It and, doesn't get smaller. And I don't, mm -hmm. from what the research I've done anyway, um, a lot of the individuals using 
like Wegovi and Ozempic, they're not receiving guidance on what to do to change their lifestyle. And the physicians right. that I work with feel really um, frustrated that they don't have the time or the resources to do that. So what we're hoping to do mm -hmm. is to create a repeatable model that then can be mm -hmm. placed into these clinics all around the country. And um, so that everybody who's going through this enormous change in their life have the full yeah. breadth of resources necessary to create that lasting change. Because I do think bringing all of that together, I don't have any judgment against the surgery or the drugs or anything like that. Um, if someone wants to use that as a tool, the lifestyle change and the mindset shift is what will be the thing that makes it stick. And so we want to make that accessible to everybody. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. I totally agree. Having been a very fat teenager and it's stressful and, it, <laughs> and there's so yeah. many belief patterns that go with that about yourself oh, and about God, your ability yeah. and so even with like if you imagine being overweight and even you know you look very healthy and fit now having overcome mm -hmm. that there's probably still lingering yeah. stress about you know like a scarcity mindset of I have to mm -hmm. keep in this you know regimen otherwise mm -hmm. you'll all go off mm -hmm. the rails and you know, figuring out how to create the mindset that makes you feel comfortable, calm, secure, and confident yeah. in your future is really what I want to provide for people because I think it's mm -hmm. completely available. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. No, that's 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 very true. Yeah, I personally, I don't even think about it anymore. I mean, Good. <laughs> I lost the weight when I was like. 21 and so yeah um, you You've know been a whole different person for a lot longer than you were that person which is exactly 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 yeah yeah so and I was I was very lucky at the time because I ran into a doctor at my school at my college my university at Cal um that that's when they used to they used to provide medical support yeah. when you were a student right they don't do that anymore they don't um, that's so foreign to me yeah exactly and I went to her and and she sat me down she said you know she said if you don't lose weight now you'll be fighting this the rest of your life so what do you think that and, I, and I heard that because you heard it right yeah what yeah. do you think you what do you think that did in your brain because that changed that changed a yeah. whole path, a neural pathway for you where you were like hard left. If you don't change, yeah. you're going to be struggling with this for the rest of your life. In that moment, you very much decided I'm not going right. to be that person. Yeah. Right. And so yeah, then exactly it's not like that gave you more science information. It didn't give you. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Like, uh -uh. No, she, no, she helped me to do it. Yeah. But that was what started it. Yeah. That gave you the motivation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, it's a, and people don't always know what we're putting in each other's heads and how powerful that is. But oh, that's what yes. happened to all of us. And that's why this work is so interesting yeah. to me, because good, bad and different. We all have things that were planted in our heads somewhere oh. and they, they create who we are, usually around ages like seven to ten yeah There's a lot of inputs that happened there and in the absence of like some significant trauma to take you off course that determines your identity as an adult mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. that's really what we're wrestling with with our unconscious is connecting with really old thought patterns that maybe don't even have a whole lot of truth to them anymore and oh, yeah. just undoing them which first starts with acknowledging that they're there right and what they are and finding yeah. and that can take so much time which is why technology oh. is so yeah. interesting and it's available so why not uh-huh uh, yeah oh no that, absolutely that's yeah. kind of the premise of all of it it's like we can we have so much more agency over ourselves I think than we were taught growing up like we weren't taught how to watch the way our brains think and make intentional decisions and be thoughtful <laughs> about what you might be saying to somebody, right? Like, all right. Oh no, exactly. Exactly. No. And, and, you know, everyone's a lot more aware now. Yeah. Even than when I was, when I was growing up, I mean, 
for goodness sakes, you know, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't even, I was supposed to grow up and have kids and stay home. Yep. You no, know, a job was not anywhere in the, the mix. No. So Yeah. Yeah. No. The whole world. I mean, those are, you know, those are things that I, for example, work on with the mm -hmm. technology is I find a lot of my daily triggers, which is, I mean, that's really, if someone was interested in probably similar to you and in, in your coaching practice or in this uh -huh. technology, yeah. the thing that would make you know that you're interested is like, I, I have these emotions that pop up and mm. I don't really know, like, I don't want to feel them, but they're there. And then I act for yeah. them. It's that idea of being triggered yeah. and my triggers are very much tied to those like gender norms and oh man, I just have so much in here from childhood that was not intentionally placed in my head by my mom or my dad, but unintentionally yeah. it very much was by yeah. them, grandparents and society. And so yes. as I also, yeah. Am a, yeah. you know, professional, not a stay at home mom, not, you know, none of those things. And it's, but the things that push me to feel like that's my job Mm -hmm. creates a lot of anxiety and stress and anger yeah. and it's all in my unconscious and so when I work with the technology those are typically the thought patterns I'm working on to release yeah. like because and you hear it out in the world you know well if I don't do it who's going to and those are the kind of thought patterns that I have to wrestle with and undo it's like not everything has to get done for one thing like that's something I have to train my brain to do like if I don't do it yeah. nobody will do it basically right, right. and it's okay if there is a yeah, fork yeah. Thing all day long, you are going to survive. And my unconscious brain does not want to believe that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you're, you're not responsible for everything that goes on in, in your right. life or in the world. <laughs> right. And sometimes we have to retrain ourselves to really yeah. believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think, I think society has gotten better. Mm -hmm. um, it's not good necessarily, but it's better, um, you know, with women in particular, that that they to try and and I can't think of what the right word is, but you know, have role models, do an example, be an example of. Uh -huh of no, you don't have to take on everything. No, everything is not your responsibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen it. You know, I've definitely seen yeah. the, the, I don't know, the story a little bit more yeah. clearly of late, which is not just, you know, you are of course allowed to work and do all of those things, but kind of my generation was the one I'm in my forties and mine was sort of the one mm -hmm. where like, yes, we all work and we do all the things our maybe non-working mothers did. And my yes. mom worked, oh, so yeah. that was easier role, role model, I guess. But yeah. now I do hear the dialogue shifting to include, yeah. well, yes, you can't, of course you can work and not everything is your responsibility at That's home right. or with the family and family yeah. isn't required. And, you know, to your point, like you don't have to grow up get married, have two and a half kids and a dog if you don't want to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And see, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a perfect example of that because I, I never wanted kids, never, never wanted kids. No, no, no. I babysat for too many kids when I was growing up and I got, got over that totally. <laughs> yeah, I did not. I have a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Well, but you know, somebody's got to do it. That's right. Don't worry. The human race is going to go on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I I married somebody who had already had two kids. Grown, oh, interesting. Grown yeah. kids. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my life. I have two biological and two step kids, but we all live together. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no exactly exactly yeah <clears throat> yeah so this way I get to have you know grandchildren he's got two yeah. grandchildren and I get to have all of that and not have to go through 
any of it or be responsible for any of it. Yeah, sounds lovely. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, that's it's, and it <clears throat> excuse me, it is it is interesting when you look back on the circumstances of growing up, right? Mm -hmm. um, I have three older brothers. I'm the only girl. Mm -hmm. and much younger um, and that had a huge huge um, impression is not the right word but um, I mean it made you who you are if you can just imagine oh, totally. and that's what you know I think um, is so fascinating and it applies to every single human being this type mm -hmm. of work um, mm -hmm. because just imagine growing up with three older brothers, if you objectively look back and, you know, assume, look at your past self, the things that you were probably told over and over and over again, out of it, no, probably no obvious intention, good, bad, or indifferent, just things that were told to you as if they were mm -hmm. true. Like, well, you got to keep up with the boys or you you know, your mm -hmm. brothers are going to protect you or you can't get away with anything or she's not going to take anything from anyone. Whatever was said to you because of this circumstance that was that your parents had three male children a certain number of years before they had you, right? Which is just a circumstance in the world. And That's then right. yeah. shaped by such a large degree shaped who you were because of the dialogue that existed oh, yeah. around you which is really what laid a foundation for your unconscious thought patterns and yeah. ultimately your identity. And we all have that. Like we all, and it's, yes. I mean, we know we have it and some is environmental. Some is, um, you know, more nurture nature, uh -huh. whatever. Yeah. But we all have very, we all have similarities so we can connect with one another. And that's how yeah. like human interaction can be so helpful. But, you know, people talk about older, oldest subjects, sibling syndrome, middle child, youngest child. And we don't have these ways of being because of how we were treated and what we experienced yeah. from people around us. And that's not, it has no judgment whatsoever. It just is. And so yep. under, as a human, then trying to quote unquote, live your best life and things get in your way. That's the stuff that gets in your way. It's thought patterns about yourself that prevent you. Mm -hmm getting to where you want to be and it has nothing mm -hmm. to do with being a middle child or the youngest of four or the only mm -hmm. girl in a mix of boys um but it does happen and even in today's world you know I have three boys mm -hmm. and a girl okay. and you know I don't know what I'm saying on a regular basis to make any of them think anything but they're going to have things in the future that are, that are an impact but based on the way that I behave mm -hmm. to each mm -hmm. of them individually right because I'm yeah. shaping I'm a part of their experience shaping their identities yeah. and you know they'll have the opportunity to figure that all out when they're a little bit older and more developed but um we all I think that's what's so fascinating about this kind of work and this technology mm -hmm. and this science yeah. it does apply to everybody mm -hmm. and I'm excited to apply my expertise in health and weight loss and all of that. But uh -huh. in the meantime, we still, I still coach a lot of people just on life. They're like, I yeah. just kind of want to feel better. And so we get together and we talk about what's making them feel not great, yeah. decide how they want to feel instead, and then interact with the technology to really accelerate that, which then just becomes... Mm -hmm fun I think in the future of this technology it will be what you what I would consider a coach in your pocket where you could pull it out and oh, okay so many questions in our app that you can and there's already so many you could scroll through and uh -huh. find like a program that matches what you're going through you mm. know in syndrome um, I give too much I care too much I don't care enough there's some sports ones in there um <laughs> And so if you're having an issue, you probably find one that yeah. the question just starts to prompt your thoughts. And so mm -hmm. you can kind of start anywhere and then it's all going to be individualized because it's a response-based mm -hmm. computer interface, which 
I'm excited about because I can, yeah. I love the, I mean, I have the technology myself, but uh-huh. I think it's so awesome for other people everywhere to have this because a, a lot of times we want to talk like your clients think yeah. I, would, I wish I had a call with Susan this afternoon, but they don't, it's not till next week or the following week. And right. by then they're sort of past their trigger and yes. the call is still helpful, yeah. but at the moment, wouldn't it be so nice to like be with your mind and actually be mm. able to go out and say, oh, that's what I'm making this mean, which just, I mean, as you probably know, by and large, the thoughts that block us have something to do with not feeling good enough, right? Not feeling deserving, not feeling good enough, yep. smart enough, brave enough, yep. whatever yep. it is. Yep. And yep. we often don't, in the moment, we want to think about something a little bit more superficial. Like, no, it's definitely this thing that's happening that's making me feel terrible, mm-hmm. not me. <laughs> but having that technology in your pocket gives the user then the, in, the opportunity to really have that aha moment of, oh, right. and the beauty of it is that's where the power is, right? Because we can't oh, change yeah. the world. We can't change yeah. the circumstances. But when you realize oh, this is me feeling triggered about not feeling like enough or being afraid to be vulnerable. Mm. Like that. And then you can work on that and actually yeah. start to change your mindset in the face of mm-hmm. that trigger even, which is mm-hmm. I think where the greatest benefit comes in because yeah. then you can be in those moments where we would normally feel triggered and not feel it nearly as much right. versus right. avoiding the circumstance altogether, which is- yes historically my favorite move right like I'll just avoid it I'll just not go in that situation uh-huh I'm not gonna think about it and I'm not gonna do anything about it no. right exactly it's far easier <laughs> but it exactly so so I'm assuming that that you guys work with men and women right yes or I should say women yes. and men last, yes we work with men and women and I guess any any gender identity whatsoever. There's uh-huh. no yeah, right. No, no, exactly. We anyone who's a, a, a us and a, all that kind of stuff, or an I or a me or yeah. <laughs> so we work with everybody. Um, uh-huh. So far, there hasn't been a cohort that has made sense that we need to make it, you know, gender specific Thank for you. any yeah. sort of yeah. comfort or safety, but. Yeah. In the future, that if if it ever becomes a thing, I've worked with just women in the past for different topics, and sometimes that makes sense. But for what we're doing at Meta Brain Labs and um, mm-hmm. in our various sort of subgroups, so I have Meta Brain Self, and yeah. then we're building Meta Brain Weight Loss is what I was referring to. Right. Yeah. And they're all mixed. And that's ever that's for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> all genders yeah, so they all have sort of a common i it's helpful when we take a group through something that they have a mm-hmm. common um goal because it makes application of the work much more tangible and specific yeah, so i've done it sort of a broad just teaching awareness and teaching how to use the technology and that does help but it it doesn't tie as closely with action. And that's what most of us want is it's like, okay, but what do I also do? And so when we're, when we have a group of people focused on a similar goal, then we can get Mm -hmm. kind of specific in, in an action plan to match the mindset shifting plan. Which, which is makes so much sense. Absolutely. Because, you know, when you're doing something, it, it's like, you know, having a buddy when you are trying to lose weight or trying Absolutely. to, you know, yeah. exercise or whatever. I mean, it just, yeah. Yeah. Having somebody else that you can call and, and complain to. Yep. Call and complain to and get support. And I mean, if you yeah. think about it, the way that we were conditioned to be where we are was a product of community too. And so when we want to change. You think? Yeah. <laughs> And so when we want to change, that's why all the self-help books say surround right. yourself with people who want the same thing as you, because it makes it easier for your brain to get on board. If you stay yep. in your old circle, you know, like someone who wants to stop overeating, for example, but they stay uh-huh. with friends who love to bake and love to have snacks, wow. and love to go yes. Out, yes. then you're going to be resisting against uh-huh. 
social norms, yep. which inherently doesn't feel safe to our primitive brain. And not to mm-hmm. say you can't hang out with those people anymore, but just expanding your community to include people who want more of what you want allows for the transition to be um, faster and more lasting. So we try to create those communities right. as much as we can. Yeah, no, and and that 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 does make perfect sense, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and the other part of it too is, <clears throat> excuse me, there are a lot of people, and I think I probably did this for a while myself in different areas, um, where you almost purposely socialize or, or you know go and spend time with people who don't have the same issues you do right and it yeah. kind of gives you an excuse for why you're not doing this or you're not completing this or you're you know yeah. all of that kind of yeah. thing it gives you an out so then you get stuck yeah. you get stuck <laughs> with your belief of i can't have that because i'm different somehow right yeah. And, um, mm-hmm. and then you'll just keep not getting what you want. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Exactly. So are there different levels that people, as far as coming in or, or are they purchasing the equipment or are they renting yeah, it or so, how, um, how does that work? Why don't you tell us okay. more about the actual program kind of. Yeah. So right now um, we're still in sort of early phases. So there are some great opportunities for people to get involved if they want to. So the, um, the weight loss one we're currently piloting. So our clients up to a certain capacity who choose to do that would actually get the product at no charge and get to use it for the pilot and then decide Uh if they purchase it. Um, That's a great opportunity and they can reach, they can reach out to us on MetaBrain. They are interested we, um, but what we're selling by and large is a, we call it like an intro pack where you get the headset and you get, um, an hour with me or one of our coaches to teach you how to use the product and then decide yeah. which cohort you want to go into. We do have sort of, like I said, we do have a, um, an intro sort of package that is mm. six long that we can take people through to teach someone how to use it. And we can put a group of people through that, okay. um, Ideally, someone would want to do this starter pack and then decide where to go from there. What is their area of focus? Because the cohorts rotate as time goes on and our, well, client interest and then our coach availability of which one we're working on right now until it gets uh-huh. a little um, bigger. That makes sense. Uh-huh. It's always available is the headset and one-on-one coaching. Um, so if it if we okay. don't have something going for exactly what your issue uh, is, we can okay. Purchase, um, time with me or one of our other expert coaches to work on that uh-huh. like onboarding a substance, a substance abuse coach. And he's working on mm-hmm. his program for that. Um, but in the oh, meantime, great. if they didn't have uh-huh. a cohort and someone was really dying for that support, we could set them right. up with him and, um, and get going. So, mm-hmm. so the best way to do it, I think is that intro starter pack buy the headset and have a call with me. And as of now, we still offer a money back guarantee. So if you use it, you hate it, um, and you don't want it, you can send yeah. the headset to us and we will use it with somebody else. Um, because we want uh-huh. people to be totally satisfied and we want uh-huh. and we want people to use it. We want to learn from right. others' experiences and be able to the more people that use it, the more we can optimize it, just like any other technology, you know. Um mm-hmm. so that's our that's our big dream. Mm-hmm. And, And really, the more people that use this in more areas of their life, the sooner um, the founder and I will be able to get to our ultimate dream, which is we believe that the way that we think about ourselves is what ultimately creates our overall health and our longevity. And that if we can understand Uh. the way we think and reduce stress and negative thinking and create intentional thinking, we can actually eliminate a lot of chronic diseases like heart disease, um, obesity, wow. diabetes, because <clears throat> yeah. we believe what we think actually ends up creating that wellness wow. picture for yes. ourselves. Once we <clears throat> can prove that, then um, right. this modality will be much more available to the general public 
which the reason that I'm into all of it is as a nurse, I got really tired of treatment, knowing that so mm. much mm. treatment prevented if people just knew how and believed in themselves and their ability to do it. Right. Yeah. And so that's the, yeah. that's the big dream. So what we're doing now is to make it accessible as much as anything. No, I think that's a great dream. I think it's a great, <clears throat> I think it's a great idea and a great goal. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me for sure. So we're excited Absolutely. about it, but the, the best way is at um, metabrain labs.com and we could probably put it in your show notes and i know metabrain yes, i will dot com has that. a lot of my contact information and has okay. opportunities to purchase so that's where the intro pack can be purchased is metabrain self but you can also email us at any time with any questions um my email address oh, is my, okay. kim ah. at metabrainlabs.com okay do me a favor i yeah give you my i get i don't know if you have my email anyways um i will give you my email when okay. we finish and you can send me all of that which would be great oh good you put it in the sh- in the chat okay yeah. email it to you too though yeah so yeah. everybody yeah. know it we'll do and again don't hesitate to reach out we'd love people to ask questions even if you're just a little bit interested and want to know more uh-huh. uh, yeah here and we're still a fairly small team so we can respond pretty quickly and um uh-huh. happy to talk to anyone yeah. who's interested yeah well and <clears throat> have, having been in in excuse me, a number of startup businesses. Um, it's you, the, the best ideas usually come from outside. Mm-hmm. It's somebody yeah. who's using it, who goes, well, why don't you do this? And you go, yeah. oh God, you know, one of those should have had a V8 kind of thing. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, why didn't we think of that? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And so as yeah. we've brought more people in, we've had a lot more of those kind of aha like moments. Which has I been bet. fun. Um, yeah. But you're right. When it's a small group, it's really easy to get focused on, mm-hmm. you know, the one thing you're trying mm-hmm. to accomplish and you miss mm-hmm. and you miss gold to the left and right. So yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's keeping mm-hmm. yourself focused is still in the long run the yeah. best thing to do. Yeah. It's only when you've got a little bit more wiggle room, I guess, if you want to call it that or whatever, you know, to look to the left and look to the right that you can see some of the other ones. Yeah. But if you don't keep yourself focused. Yeah. And I, um, I mean, I've worked for several startups as well, and I'm, uh-huh. I'm pleased to say that where we are, cause MetaBrain Labs has been working for several years and I've been working with them for about a year. We're definitely uh-huh. focused and even more Great. so than we were. Great nine months ago um Uh much more focused on where we want to go with this big Mm -hmm. vision of what pieces make sense to bring in to get to this big picture goal of really mapping the the way we think with our Uh um physical health and longevity because uh, it matters to those of us who are overly invested in it so (laughs) (laughs) and not just monetarily not just monetarily, <laughs> no. It's an energetic yeah. investment above yeah. most, but um, which is great. I love to find a passion. Yeah. It oh, makes for sure. Work a lot of fun, as you know. Yeah. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yeah. You don't mind getting up and going to work in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So. Okay. Well, I I think unless you have anything else you want to throw out there to to let people know, I think we've talked. We've covered most. Yeah, I think we've covered most of it. And um, okay, make them go to your website, get more. Yeah, if you want to send me an email with your email, then I can send you the links and stuff to put in the show notes. And if you forget anything, the PR company has all that stuff too. But okay, okay, yeah, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. (laughs) They should. (laughs) Yes, that's right. That's what they're getting paid for. That's right. Um, (laughs) <laughs> okay so i'm going to finish up with my usual which is that neither of us are doctors this is not medical advice um and if you are having a medical problem please go to see your doctor or to the hospital if it's an emergency and with that um thank you very much for for being on yeah and thank you. i will uh, i will see everybody next week.